Now, the Iranian chess player who removed her headscarf at an international tournament has told the BBC she has no regrets. Living in exile in southern Spain, Sara Kadem says it was the least she could do given the sacrifices protesters in Iran were making. Sara Kadem is 25 now but has been playing competitively since she was eight. Chess was unbanned in Iran just before Ayatollah Khomeini's death and in the decades after that the country has become a chess powerhouse and Sara Kadem one of its biggest and most promising stars. In December last year she decided not to wear the compulsory hijab when competing. Her life has changed utterly, not least where she lives now on the Spanish coast. Chess is a game that requires a player to calculate their opponent's third or fourth move. 25-year-old Sara Kadem has made a few calculations, but to remove her headscarf was the least she could do, given what was happening in Iran, that it was the right thing to do. That decision, though, has led to her exile and, for now, a life lived in a secret location. When I was playing in Almaty, uh, there were many things going on in Iran and many young women, they were not wearing the scarf on the streets and that was the rule in the country. So I would say I was really inspired but by what they were doing at, back at home. But presumably you realised that you were taking a risk. Yeah. The things that happened was not really something that I was hoping for. Uh, I mean, leaving the country. Uh, leaving Iran completely was not what was going on in my mind. And that is something I really miss, but I wouldn't say I regret it. Since September last year, Iran has been shaken by girls and women protesting against the death in custody of Masa Amini for an apparent hijab infraction. Many have been killed and many more arrested. There have been enormous sacrifices. For me, leaving my family was one of the most difficult things that I have ever done and also Iran, but if I want to compare my, what I did to what people are doing, I wouldn't say that it was difficult because the risk that they are taking is, uh, is much higher. Led by the Prime Minister of the country, there is though some comfort in Spain's embrace of Sara Khadem. It was kind of a mixed feeling to see that uh, in a country you would be really appreciated to be invited by the Prime Minister and in your own country that you have um, achieved lots of success, you, you just get arrestment orders. <laughs> the current loss of her country has not dimmed Sara's commitment to chess. Yeah, I consider myself as a professional chess player and that is the only thing I know. Razia Iqbal, BBC News, Southern Spain.